part of me was thinking, wow, I wonder how much reflection George does when he's singing these songs, because some of these songs either mirror or embody his life. How's it going out there, guys? I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. I'm having a good time with this. I'm doing a reaction to George Jones, the one and only. I'm doing Tennessee Whiskey, right? You saw the title. And this is requested by Valerie. And Valerie, you said, uh, there were some comments I saw like that. You train horses. And I love that. Like my Lex, my surrogate daughter, she's started horse riding lessons about, I don't know, two months ago or so. And um, she loves it. And once people, I've seen this in life, you know, just when people get in at horses, it, that's all they want to do is ride, work with the horses and do stuff on the ranch, whatever, you know. But um, so kudos to you, Valerie. But I don't think I've heard George Jones's rendition of Tennessee Whiskey. I, I've done uh, early in the channel. I did Chris Stapleton's because everybody's done Chris Stapleton's oh, reactors. Everybody does because Chris's voice is a once in a generation and then some. So we're going to find out if uh, George and Chris sing the same song. Here we go. You're so wonderful. I used to spend my nights out, Lord, in a boardroom. Yeah. Liquor was the only love I know. But you rescued me from reaching for the bar. And you love me back from being too far gone And you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey You're as A glass of brandy and I stay stone on your love all the time. I look for love in all. The same old places Found the bottom of the bottle It was always dry mm. That's kind but of true in George's case you poured out your heart Hon, I didn't waste it For there's nothing like your love to keep me high And you're as smooth As Tennessee whiskey You're as sweet California wine And you're as warm Oh, I mean warm as that Texas white lightning, oh Lord, <laughs> and I stay stone on your love all the time, honey. I stay. That's just classic. I mean, because I know the song by Chris so well. That was my first introduction and 50th introduction to the song. You know, hearing George do it, and then he threw in California wine. And then in my brain, I'm like, wait a minute, is that the lyric? And it's like, no, a glass of brandy and whatever. And then he threw in Texas White Lightning. And of course, they love that. 
So you got to know what the lyrics are to the song to know that he's twisting it up a little bit, switching it up. And they did. You know, you could hear the audience clapping and laughing or whatever. And he smiled. In the beginning, it was funny because when the pianist or the keyboardist was doing something, I noticed the bass player kind of smiling to himself. And then uh, one of the other musicians, when you could, when George wasn't blocking him, he seemed to be smiling a little bit too. And then George looked over at both of them at one point, and I don't know what variation happened in the song, because uh, I know sometimes they do funny things to mess with one another. I was backstage in an Allman Brothers concert now, uh, at the Beacon, and this is going back 20 years. And um, I got to meet Greg, I got to meet Butch, I got to meet J-Mo, and Derek Trucks um, was there. Warren Haynes was playing at the time. Dickie wasn't with the band. It was pretty funny because Mark Quinones was like the third percussionist. And he set up like, I guess they were like bongos, but his equivalent of drums in between Butch Trucks and J-Mo. I'm watching, and some dude comes from sort of like backstage while the band is playing and tugs on Mark Quinones' shorts, just messing with him while he's playing during a sold-out show at the Beacon. And then, you know, Mark turns back and looks at him, and he kind of cracks up. And at the end of the song, Mark gets off drums, and this dude gets up there and, and starts playing the next song. So these guys do things because they play so many shows just to sort of have some fun. And so I don't know what that was that George had just done, but I love picking up on nuances like that. But Valerie, great recommendation. I love this rendition. I mean, George is George, as we know. Part of me was thinking, wow, I wonder how much reflection George does when he's singing these songs. Because some of these songs either mirror or embody his life. That's just the nature of it. You know, you sing a song that happens to be about you. You know, you just it makes you reflect, and you know, or maybe not. Maybe you just go out there and perform and go home. But I'm not going to rate this. That's just too iconic to me. And I've got Chris Stapleton's song in my head. Chris's voice is ridiculous and and it, it, unbelievable. And he sings with um, Morgane, his wife, and so that duet is just special. But these guys here, they just were beautiful harmonies too. So I'm going to leave that be. That's just going to go in the. I've got a playlist of like classic songs, not rated. And that's going to go in that category. So into that playlist. George Jones' rendition of Tennessee Whiskey. I wonder who was the first to sing this song. Some of you guys will know that. Um, if you know, let, yeah, let me know. I love to know this stuff. So for future reference. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. See you in another video. And keep rocking the country.